Hey guys, Matthew here once again, and in the last week of the Blight League, there's not much time left, but the builds just keep on getting dumber. This has to be the league where I've done the most just silly and somehow effective builds ever before, and this is absolutely no exception. It may even be the build, the dumbest one so far. We'll have to wait and see as the character is still progressing, but what you're looking at here is cast on crit, detonate dead, and desecrate on a necromancer. And uh, ever since I saw the Necromancer reworks with the Corpse effectiveness, uh, the Corpse synergy for the Detonate Dead and the Volatile Dead, I really did want to try that out at some point of the league, but I did give it uh, plenty of time before I got into it because a lot of other things were a priority. You can see here this is an example of Volatile Dead as opposed to Detonate Dead, but either way, they are both pretty damn insane. So the idea is to have a Necromancer that has a lot of Corpse scaling through the Ascendancy and then use cast on crit in your sword with cyclone uh, as well as triggering desecrate so every time you are critting you are proccing desecrate or detonate dead uh, spawning lots of corpses for yourself and then triggering a lot of those corpses with detonate dead and as well as that we're using spell cascade in the main setup so spell cascade will generate 10 corpses every single time you um, crit and then as well as that you will uh detonate at least three of those corpses every single time. If you're using Volatile Dead, it's even worse than that. It's a lot more. And you can see that it gets a little bit frame laggy and a bit frame teary. And ultimately, Volatile Dead is probably a lot better, but I like Detonate Dead personally, and I'm sticking to it for most of this build. And uh, as you'll see that throughout the video, it's more than adequate throughout um, all of this content. And it's just a little bit safer as well, because you do get to proc uh, all of your uh, instant damage, basically, instantly, as opposed to uh, spinning around and having the balls proc and then have them go chase things, which quite often results in things having a second or two to hit you. Uh, whereas Detonate Dead will just happen uh, as soon as the Desecrate and the Detonate Dead goes off. And with enough area scaling and enough corpse scaling and enough damage scaling, we have ourselves quite a build on our hands. It seems to be very nice for Delve. It seems to be very nice for single target. And it's pretty damn quick in the uh, clear speed if you want it to be. Now, I haven't taken it too far yet. This is only like depth, I don't know, 60 or something, level 75 stuff. I'm still figuring out all the fine tunements of the stuff, of the character, because it is a level 80 character or something. And I've been jumping the gun on the content since it's just been a lot of fun. But I am uh, also still figuring things out and still... Uh, putting some of the characters gear together but this is an example of what the volatile dead can look like when it's shitting out like 10 balls per crit or something and it is essentially the only build that brings my computer to tears at the moment at least in the past six months or so that i could actually uh, remember it's the only one that really takes my fps down and it is not for the faint of heart uh, especially on the larger packs especially on some delves and especially on blighted maps i did uh, take the FPS all the way down to like freezing point on some blighted maps the day before this stream and uh, it's just kind of not worth it it's more for the novelty of seeing how and if you can do it but there's a bit of a single target test going on here you can see with some Zoff uh, some Shaper and Vol uh, Val Volatile Dead is just an extremely potent tool which I rarely even need to use but you proc your corpses Press a Vile, Volatile Dead, uh, sorry, Detonate Dead, and it's going to just keep going off even if you're not uh, near the corpses anymore. So it's just a bunch of extra damage that is at a range setting. And then you can see quite often not even pressing um, Vile, Detonate Dead. And in this uh, blighted map test, which is like a tier 8 or 9 or something like that, nothing too special. But we're basically just one-shotting these bosses, and I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, at least throughout this league. I think this is currently the filthiest character for this type of a setup. Uh, but maybe I'm misremembering something. This definitely made my jaw drop just a little bit. And a lot of the time, not pressing a lot of the big buttons. And there's still plenty of room to go uh, for growth. So all in all, it could end up being the filthiest character. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a necromancer, I don't think. There's just some good corpse scaling synergy there with uh, added corpse life 
to um, the desecrates that you're going to be spawning as well as that you're going to be shocking and chilling everything thanks to the big corpse node and then once you're consuming a lot of these corpses it really does help to take your attack speed to a whole nother level when i'm using this with volatile dead it consumes a lot more corpses than detonate dead and we can take our cyclone attack speed from roughly seven or eight cyclone attacks per second to 25 26 uh, cyclone attacks per second and I'll go over exactly what I mean with that ascendancy in just a second so let's jump into what the character looks like so far so here is our current character level 84 dying for some cock and trust me I have been which is why we made the character as a necromancer with uh, cyclone cast on crit detonate dead and it's built into this sword uh, popularized uh, throughout last league or the league before I think with the shaped mod of um, socketed gems are supported by level 18 cast on crit effectively making it a seven link and then you roll until you can get attack speed and double damage mod which is a single mod and that does work towards spells so it's the perfect um, prefix suffix combo uh, still since those times and then you slap on whatever else you want on top of it uh, basically I enjoy the double damage focused mod and as well as that I could have gone for hits can't be evaded but I chose to cap out my accuracy manually and just put on fire damage extra chaos uh, in a lot of the video the character's gear isn't put together so it's a lot less good than it currently is and in most of the video I don't even have a level 21 detonate dead that said these things are like fucking I paid five alteration orbs for this most of these guys are 1c 2c level 21 detonate dead ain't nobody care about this thing so the combo is of course cyclone um, into cast on crit into desecrate which will be spawning your corpses it can go up to 10 corpses and with uh, spell cascade that means that you will be spawning all 10 every single time and then detonate dead which will be triggering off of spell cascade three per crit uh, it should rotate between the two uh, of these two skills and quite often you won't really be able to tell what's happening because more often than not you're just shitting out spells non-stop you then also have increased crit strikes so that your uh, cyclone has good crit and your um, detonate dead does as well and then inspiration just to make cyclone well it's already pretty much free and uh, just a bunch of extra elemental and um, crit strike damage so you can see it's only two mana cost cyclone mana cost is an absolute joke and it's being sustained just by a regen and then the rest of the gear is well still not fully fixed uh, i've just got some stopgap rings at the moment which definitely need to be upgraded the rest of it is basically locked in and uh, you can see we've got a helm enchant for detonate dead has 45 percent chance to to uh, detonate an additional corpse i've got boots that i crafted just a little bit for cooldown recovery speed still haven't divined them though they do need to be a bit higher and then i just grabbed a belt with a reduced flask mod and increased cooldown recovery speed because both these cooldown recovery speeds do serve to lower the cooldown recovery on cast on crit which is 0.15 uh, base i think at the moment uh, so it's not really too necessary chances are you probably won't even notice it but i'm trying to max out the character as best as i can and that's why i went for the cooldown recovery speed uh, got chance to get crit against shocked enemies here and then just a combs for a fuck ton of life since we don't really need a uh, chest with any links and then a temple amulet that has fire damage leached as life now you can see we picked necromancer because plague bearer gives us um 30 percent area as well as that little bit of extra damage and reduced damage uh, but the real important one is corpse packed um, 30 percent damage consumed corpse recently 2% attack and cast speed for each corpse consumed recently which is a hefty amount uh, during detonate dead but a really large amount during volatile dead and then enemies near corpses you spawned are chilled and shocked and that's a 20% damage shock which is pretty damn relevant and then corpses you spawn have 50% increased max life and since you can see detonate dead is based off of uh, the initial hit which is a fuck ton and then the explosion that deals base fire damage equal to six percent of the corpse's max life so if we grant our desecrate corpses more life they'll do more damage you then also have mistress of sacrifice which means that um, our flesh offering for attack speed movement speed will affect us as well and then just had to grab any old thing so commander of darkness gives us a bit of resist a bit of damage 
but uh, it's not a very good one overall. And then we do also pick up uh, Spiritual Aid to make use of our minion damage since all of these nodes have minion damage. It's a free 60% damage if we pick up this node. So it's not horrible to move into and that's what the passive tree currently looks like. Still missing a dual socket, uh, possibly traveling up this way, but I'm still fine tuning it as I go. And the watches I'm currently using is a uh, Zilla tree, 9% enemy penetration, but I think that might change into an anger um, setup instead, because currently I'm running Herald of Ash, Precision, and Zealotry, but anger might be better, especially with a better Watcher's Eye, uh, but we'll um, see how that goes. So we have a Wise Oak here for the penetration towards fire, a Cinder Swallow for um, really good sustain. It is going to be a large amount of our uh, life regen and sustain through packs since we're very up close and personal as a melee sort of character. Diamond Flask, Quicksilver, and a Divine uh, Life. Got a Faster Attacks, Ice Golem, Fortify, and Leap Slam setup just to Leap Slam around sometimes, but it's mostly just spinning to win. And then Flame Dash, Flesh Offering, Blood Rage, and Arcane Surge over here. So if I do any of my other actions, I will be triggering Arcane Surge, and that's pretty damn uh, useful for a bit of extra damage. And then down here is Zilla Tree, Precision, and Herald of Ash. Now the uh, important thing about this skill is it scales a little bit differently and a little bit weird. You can see in the path of building our current damage here based off of the spell, which is the initial hit of Detonate Dead, has something like 68, 90 crit and 520 multi. If you select the corpse explosion, which is the secondary effect, you've got a lot less. That's because it's not treated as a spell and as such um, nodes like this don't do anything for the secondary effect. So it is ideal in a perfect world that you are using things that scale both sides of the skill. So if you're just going for the spell portion, you click all this stuff, you can see it is pretty good and it does get you a bit of extra damage, but it won't do anything for the corpse explosion. So we want generic crit, generic crit multi, generic damage and um, fire damage, elemental, that sort of thing, which is why um, I haven't specced into something like this just yet, though I still might. And it's also why I'm trying my best for jewels to get like um, crit strike multi with fire skills and Ellie skills as opposed to spells because it won't work with it. But the character is still somewhat being figured out. And as I said, it's very easy to just swap out detonate dead and put volatile dead in. If you'd much rather, you do consume like nine corpses uh, with spell cascade per crit. So it gets a lot meatier on your graphics card. And it also is a lot more defensive in plenty of situations and faster in many maps that have uh, large open areas so it's entirely up to you if you'd rather do volatile dead I have a soft spot for detonate dead and it's working out just fine so why not keep it going um, the only other thing to mention is like I said hits can't be evaded is uh, ideal to get rid of all your accuracy problems but with a golem with a full level precision and I'm gonna get a ring with some accuracy it should be fine to cap accuracy out regardless and thus save me three exalts on the craft and uh, just put fire damage as extra chaos instead. Uh, ideally, this is the sword craft, but it's not that important, I guess. It's mostly the six link that you're looking for with the cast on crit, uh, getting you an additional link, that is. But I crafted this one in about a thousand alts. I crafted one a couple leagues ago in 5,000 alts. Um, and I've crafted some pretty similar ones in a few thousand on this league too, just not quite as good. So. It's doable, but it might take you a bit. And ultimately, you could do this setup with a real chest and two claws because that's how I was leveling for a lot of the um, characters' life. Just dual wield, and it still works totally fine. I was using a Terminus Est for a while. That still works totally fine too. It's not a character that needs a whole lot of gear, but it is a character that's going to benefit from getting more of it. So for now, guys, that's the character showcase. Hopefully another video with more endgame in the future. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.